Hi everybody, this is Susie, and welcome to another Wild Orca Crafts Design Team video for the Wild Bunch. I always start my video off how excited I am, and it's true, I'm always excited. I'm just an excited person, especially when it comes to the beautiful mulberry paper roses and flowers and good stuff from Wild Orchid Crafts. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you this project that I made. I absolutely love the way it came out. It's not only beautiful, but I think it's really original and a lot of fun. My inspiration behind this bottle was actually watching a movie last night called A Message in a Bottle with Kevin Costner. I don't know if any of you have ever seen it, but I must have seen it about two or three times, and every time it's on, I always watch it. Just love Kevin Costner. Anyway, um, the message in the bottle got me thinking because, again, I really don't want to repeat myself with, I know I do a lot of alterations of boxes and I make pillows and so on, but sometimes I like to make something a little bit different. And lately, I had a lot of things going on in my life, and I wanted to show my husband a way that I can thank him by sending him a special little message in a bottle. And that's exactly what I did here. In fact, this is a bottle, I'm sorry, that he had bought for me at a flea market. And he knows that I love bottles and to play with things and all this stuff. And so he bought me this bottle, which is probably somewhere around a couple of inches tall. I'm just getting my ruler just to show you. Um, let me just go back a little. So as you can see that the bottle itself is about four and a half inches tall. Very adorable. And it's so old. It's got to be a hundred years old. Um, he bought it from someone at a flea market who was cleaning out a very, very old house where the people that lived there had reached close to 100 years old. And um, this bottle is so old that I couldn't even wash it. I mean, it was, no matter how much I tried to take out whatever stains that there were or fadedness on the bottle, it just remained to look foggy. And that gave it that real vintage feel. So with that said, I thought that I would take this bottle and that I would alter it in a way that it would look like um, it's something that could have come out of the ocean. But if something like this came out of the ocean, I would have to really think twice, like, oh my God, there's no way that anything like this can come out of an ocean because it's got flowers on it that are so beautiful like that. In the meantime, I'll tell you what I did here. Um, I got the Oloroso seam binding, which I'll just turn the bottle a little so that you can see it. And um, I just sprayed some water on that, and I scrunched it up and put my heat gun to it. And I made my own vintage seam binding where it's kind of really wrinkly and, you know, like it's been sitting in a drawer for years and years. And I really like that look for certain projects. So I tied the um, vintage seam binding, uh, which you can get at the wildwalkercrafts.com store. Um, I tied the seam binding in a bow around the bottle and just glued the knot part to the rim of the uh, to the stem of the glass and then I took a long piece of wire the actual wire that you would cut off of the bottom of the flower and a lot of most of the time when I'm doing my projects I'm cutting off the wire and I took a leaf just simply from one of these little like things that you can buy at Michael's and I glued the leaf to the wire and I played around with it and bent it a little and then I used I don't know what that paper is but I wrote down everything oh here it is I used the um, Tim Holtz Distress Sponge and the Frayed Burlap from Ranger and I etched all around with the sponge on the leaf to just give it that worn out look and I did the same thing to the flowers and I hope that you can see that. I'm on a tripod and I don't want to pick it up to bring it closer, but if you can see that the flowers look dark all along the edges, and that's because I used the sponge with the fr frayed burlap ranger ink, and I gave the flowers a distressed older look. And all of the coils, the, um, the stems of the, the wire stems of the flowers, 
that already come in that green color. When they were cut off, I saved them all, and then I coiled them around a paintbrush and stuck them onto the bottle, like underneath the, the wire that I made for the, the, um, the vine. So with all the flowers glued to the vine and the wires, I added that onto the bottle with some hot glue. I didn't have to use the, um, the glue for glass. It stuck fine. Um, and then um, way at the bottom here, I used one of those larger flowers. It's the um, hip rose. And that comes, that comes um, in a package where the hip roses are the, I think it's like the earth rose. It's the earth tone hip roses. You'll see everything in the drop down box below. Um, so if you want to go over and get some of them for yourself, you can. And I want it to be in the vintage color. Um, I always, you know, lately I've been using a lot of pinks and creams and whites. And um, I do enjoy working with that. But then sometimes I really like the vintage colors. And even though I have those little pink flowers in there, um, when I put some of the ink on the flowers, it gave it a real distressed look. Kind of changed up the color a little bit, and that was the way I was. That was the look I was going for, and I kind of like that against the red. So we have one of the open white roses in there, which it looks pink, but it's a, a white or cream open rose. These little pink roses here, and then the red ones, and some of those other cream ones. Really very dainty looking, very pretty. And around the back, I just have the bottom of some flowers. You know, when you turn it over, it has that, like, five-leaf star kind of thing, the leaves underneath the flower. Well, a lot of times I take them off, and I don't throw them away. I save them. And I saved a few of these and that I had used recently, and I just kind of squished it up and stuck it onto the seam binding um, next to one flower and next to some of these pearls that I got at Michael's and those are the pearls that are called crystals with a Z. They come in a package in a, a plastic uh, packing and it's about $3.99 and um, sometimes they're even on sale. And um, way at the bottom of the bottle you'll see that there's a lot of twine and I bought like 500 uh, yards of twine for like three dollars from a local hardware store so from time to time when I need some twine it's kind of a ragged in a way because there's little pieces of frayed coming off of it and I I like that it kind of give, give it like that watery old look and that's ex exactly the look that I was going for so I tied some of that around when it came to the very end of it I just used a little hot glue and I kind of made like it's not really a bow, but that that's how I ended it off with a flower and a pearl. Just very, very dainty looking. And the 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 message bleh, it comes out of the bottle. I'm just gonna lay that right there. Um that is definitely a message in a bottle for sure because I took a regular piece of printer paper that you would put in your printer to print out. I folded it and I just tore it in half and in half again. And then I took the sponge with the Ranger's fur frayed burlap and I etched all around the outside, kind of give it like if you would set it on fire kind of look. Uh, like because I, I tore a few edges all around on my own and um, I just kept etching with the um, with the sponge and going um, in a circle all the way around the entire page and going into the center. So the inside and outside of the paper itself um, looks worn. And I really, I really love how that came out. I haven't played around with things like this in a while and I kind of miss it. So I was glad that I, um, you know, had a chance to play with this a little bit today and share it with you. And then I just tied it up. I, I put it in the bottle first to make sure that it would fit, and then I tied it up with a piece of twine and put a knot around it. And there's actually a note in there. It's written in very small script and very neatly. I have a really nice handwriting. Um, and the message in there is from my hubby. And so um, I'm going to give him back the bottle that he gave to me. Oh, I'm sorry. And um, I'm going to give him back the bottle that he gave to me. 
and it's all done up nicely and just love the way that it looks. It's just such a cute little, I'm, I'm probably going to wind up like putting this in my china closet in the dining room. It's just, it's very dainty and very feminine looking. Really like a little nice romantic touch. And it's very simple. I mean, if you don't have um, uh, a way of buying a vintage bottle or getting one, I mean, I would suggest to probably just use like a little shot glass. Um, and that's what I want to try next because I have some other bottles, but they're a little larger. I want to. I have some sh shot glass bottles, uh, the really small ones like you would get in a hotel. And I think that probably spraying that white um, and you know doing it in a shabby look, like spray painting it white and doing it in a shabby look would look really cool. I'd have to buy some. Uh, paint for glass, but I'm sure there's spray paint for glass, there's everything out there today, and that'll probably be something that I'd like to play around with again, but again, like I said, I'm trying to go outside the box, I don't want to keep making projects that are of the same nature all the time, even though that's what I love to do most, and anything that I have here, and anything that I play with, as long as I put the Wild Orca Crafts flowers on it, I know that in the end, my final product will be absolutely beautiful because there is um, nothing better than seeing flowers that are so gorgeous like this on anything that you have. And you don't have to be um, some kind of very advanced, talented crafter. I've been crafting for years and years and just as long as you keep going at it and using your imagination and being original, that's the most beautiful part of everything that you make. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed seeing this bottle. I was highly inspired by that movie. Um, his bottle looked absolutely nothing like this. It was a bottle that was found by a woman on the beach, and inside was a message from the man who was Kevin Costner writing to his wife. I guess he kind of felt good about writing to somebody that passed away um, and telling her how he felt and probably thought that no one would ever find it. But when she found it, it had a cork on top, and then the bottle was in the same, the, in the, um, just at the very beginning of the shore in the mud, and uh, the inside, the message was dry. So something to think about if you ever want to send somebody a message and don't really want them to get it, because sometimes when you write something, you feel great. So um, I hope you enjoy seeing this project as much as I've enjoyed making it. And in the drop-down box below, you'll find the links to the Wild Orchid Craft Store along with our YouTube channel where you can see other designers and the ideas and beautiful crafts that they make, as well as my Facebook page and our YouTube page and our, our Facebook page and my blog and so forth and all of the items that were used in this project with their item numbers. So if you want to go on over and get some of it for yourself, you will have all the item numbers, and just as the last touch, you guys, Wild Orchid Crafts has just redone their website. It is absolutely amazing. You have to go on over and check it out. Just, just beautiful. It's so much more easier to navigate. It looks fantastic, and we've got a bunch of new things in the store, so go on over and check it out. Stay well, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.